Hey guys, in today's video I want to tell you why I prefer tennis over pickleball. But some of you might remember a video that I released a while ago called Pickleball is Killing Tennis. And I'm happy to report that tennis is doing a lot better. I was honestly in that video just reporting on what I'm seeing on the tennis courts here in Southeast Florida. And often they were empty throughout the day while pickleball courts were always jam-packed. But I'm here to tell you that the situation in Florida has improved regarding tennis. Courts are now packed throughout the day, even in the tough hours in Florida between, let's say, 11 and 4 o'clock, people are still playing tennis. I'm definitely seeing a difference in the amount of tennis that's being played at the recreational level. And when I made that video, a lot of you guys had commented how in your part of the country, the tennis situation was quite good. I was claiming in that video that you often see people waiting in line to play pickleball, but you hardly ever see that in tennis. And you guys, especially in the New York area, were telling me that people are waiting in lines to play tennis as well. So I do think that these two sports can coincide while pickleball is absolutely exploding. Uh, tennis seems to be growing as well. Okay, so let's get started with why I think that tennis is better than pickleball. And remember, all you guys that uh, like pickleball better than tennis, I'm going to get into that in this video. You might be surprised at some of the reasons that I give. But nevertheless, this is my opinion. I prefer tennis over pickleball for the following reasons. The first one is the ball sound. Here, listen to this. You see when I hit this ball, you see how nice that sounds? And then when I put different spins on it, the sound changes. And this is something that's really beautiful about tennis. And have you ever wondered why people are in the crowd and not saying a word, they're not allowed to make a beep. That's something that's very unique to tennis. And John McEnroe once said that players need to concentrate on the sound of the ball. And there is some truth to that. If you take out the sound of the ball, if you ever tried to play tennis with headphones, it changes everything. We don't always realize how important the sound of the ball is because you're going to hear a different sound when you hit the ball well, and you're going to hear a different sound when you hit the ball poorly. I take a listen here. I'm going to hit a flat serve. And you hear what that sounds like and now i'm going to hit a slice serve you hear there's a difference there and now a kick serve three different sounds and i'm able to distinguish uh, between these three sounds now on the other hand pickleball has a sound that's quite frankly annoying and irritating to listen to now i will add that when you're actually playing pickleball and you're smacking the ball around it's not quite as annoying but from the outside it's a lot more annoying than tennis i I like to compare it to somebody uh, blowing leaves at uh, the sound it makes when you're actually doing it yourself and you're blowing the leaves it's kind of fun but listening to that sound from the outside is an absolute nightmare and in my opinion i find the sound that this pickleball thing makes uh, very <laughs> another reason why i think tennis is better than pickleball is the drip and to some of you guys who are older who are watching a drip means basically a clothes and take a look at how stylish tennis clothes are you see these shoes you see the tennis shorts you see the rafa shirt you see the feather hat and yes you can wear a rafa shirt and a feather hat now joking aside tennis clothes have always been cool back in the day with McEnroe and Borg when they were wearing uh, Serge Dacchini and Fila these were such cool brands that uh, people were dying to get their hands on some of these clothes and even though the clothes in my opinion in tennis are not as stylish as they used to be like back in those days i still think that tennis clothes and especially tennis shoes are maybe the best looking the coolest outfits out of all sports and i guess you could wear tennis shoes and tennis clothes when you play pickleball but i have to say i've seen some people playing pickleball that are dressed extremely uh, casually as if they were going uh, to the beach and in tennis on the other hand there is an etiquette you can't just show up to the court any type of way a lot of clubs actually have dress codes and generally you do have to wear a tennis attire and not only do i think that there's nothing wrong with that i actually like dressing up for tennis another reason why i think tennis is better than pickleball is tennis etiquette there is a certain way you have to behave on the tennis court it's a gentleman's sport after all and having played on a tennis court next to pickleball players many times i often hear hooting and hollering there seems to be less of the culture of tennis where everybody is supposed to be quiet and everybody is supposed to behave there it's more i would say party time people are very loud when they play uh, they're having fun and i'm sure that it's a lot of fun to play pickleball but on a tennis court you can't behave 
that way if i played against someone who was hooting and hollering uh, after every single point it would be extremely annoying why and not that tennis isn't fun but it's just not something that we're used to as tennis players again it's a gentleman's sport we're used to it being a gentleman's sport which means that you have to behave of course some people misbehave on the tennis court as well but generally speaking people on a tennis court behave differently than they do on a pickleball court and me personally since i'm used to that on a tennis court i find it quite irritating and this brings me to the next point why i think tennis is better than pickleball it's the fun factor and you're going to be surprised because pickleball is a lot more fun than tennis and it relates to the last point that i made people seem to be having a lot of fun when they're playing pickleball and people tend to get really frustrated when they play tennis and they don't seem to have fun at all. And you're probably asking yourself, Nick, why would you like that? Because here's the thing. If you're on a tennis court, which is quite a big area, and you have uh, two people who have never played tennis before and they bring a handful of tennis balls and they try to rally back and forth, they don't have any technique to speak of, and they're gonna have a horrible time. Every few seconds, they're gonna be picking up balls. Is that fun? absolutely not you can step on a pickleball court even as a beginner and you can find a way to start getting that ball back and forth and getting into a rally the technicality of tennis is far more complex than the technicality of pickleball and the only way to have fun in tennis is if you learn the fundamentals and you are able to maintain a rally with your partner then it becomes fun now the next two points that i'm going to bring up are huge factors why i think tennis is better than pickleball and the first one is the professional level there's nothing better in this world than to watch tennis at the pro level think about all those unbelievable matches between Nadal and Djokovic or Federer and Nadal I'm gonna go out here and say that in my opinion tennis is absolutely the best sport to watch on TV I know there's a lot of uh, American football fans there's a lot of soccer fans but to me there's nothing better to watch than a great tennis match on TV now I have tried to watch professional pickleball on the tennis channel I actually subscribe to the tennis channel plus uh, there's no plug I just love the tennis channel and I have it on my TV pretty much all day long and I have a section on tennis channel plus that's professional pickleball and I try to watch it and yes these players are incredibly good but you know what happens at the professional level in pickleball because there's really no power in pickleball you can hit that thing as hard as you want because it has holes in it and it's made out of plastic it's not gonna fly that fast. So all it ends up being is a touch and feel game. I've watched these professional players and it seems that they're just kind of maneuvering and finessing the ball around. The power game is completely missing from pickleball. And that's why in my opinion, at the professional level, it's less entertaining to watch on TV compared to tennis. The next point I'm gonna bring up is the number one reason, in my opinion, why there are some tennis courts that are being uh, converted to pickleball that's something that I don't like to see I don't have any problems with pickleball I think it's great that people are playing it but it's just kind of sad that tennis courts are being converted into pickleball courts and in my last video on pickleball uh, there was a few petitions that people put out so that their uh, local tennis courts don't get converted into pickleball but the number one reason why I think that this is happening all over the country is that it's a lot easier to find people to play with in pickleball compared to tennis. What I've been able to observe in pickleball is that independent of your level, you can step on a court and join a game pretty easily. And now in tennis, this is not gonna happen. And a lot of people hate that about tennis. They call players who are better arrogant, cocky, for refusing to play with weaker players. But I'm gonna explain to you why this is the case. See, I played high level tennis. This means I played tennis for money. Every time I stepped on a the court, there was something on the line. You have prize money, uh, or I played in Division One college. It's a little different, but indirectly, uh, money was involved as well in form of a scholarship. But in other words, for me, it would be absolutely impossible to just go out and hit with someone who's a recreational level player. It would be an absolute waste of time for me, and I wouldn't do it. Does that sound that I'm arrogant or cocky? Not at all. It's the same way if I ask Rafa or, or Federer uh, to play with me, they wouldn't play with me because I am obviously not at their level. Now the same goes for somebody who's at the 3.0 level, uh, who wants to play against a 5.0. The 5.0 is never going to play a match with a 3.0 because again, it is a waste of time. Now why is that the case? Because here's the deal. To get to a certain level in tennis, whether it be the 5.0 level or the high level or even the elite level, 
you have to spend an enormous amount of time on crafting your skills. And now once you develop those skills and you play at that certain level, now you're gonna seek out players who are of that same level. And obviously it's gonna be a waste of time for you to play with someone who hasn't put in all that time, who hasn't worked as hard as you, and play someone that you can beat O and O in 30 to 45 minutes. So do you understand what I'm saying? It's not that players of a higher caliber are too cocky to play with weaker players. It's just that they've put so much work at their tennis and of course it's very understandable that they don't want to waste their time and play with somebody who is extremely weak and look the same might be true in pickleball to some extent and it might become even more evident once pickleball continues to grow and once you get better and better athletes playing pickleball that you're going to see different levels of pickleball but it appears to me and you can correct me if i'm wrong in the comments that it's a more inviting game it's a lot easier to pick up a game in pickleball and this is a big advantage for pickleball over tennis because it is true that in tennis sometimes it's very difficult to find a partner so you're probably thinking nick why is it an advantage for tennis it's obviously an advantage for pickleball well in my opinion it's something that i like about tennis because i did put in all the work into tennis i play tennis every day for many years i can't even count them i spend every day on the tennis court so there's a certain pride that i carry with myself and not just me anybody who plays tennis at the high level has that same pride and to all you guys who think uh, that's not fair i want to be able to play with better players well here's what you have to do you have to work really hard you have to put in the same amount of work that better players have put in to reach their level and then you can start playing against better players